I'll tell you, I don't know where I'm going other than up and north. Look at the size of this wall out here. Yeah. Terrible both sides. Still, look at the work. Well, hey everybody, welcome to a, well, we're going to make it up as we go, metal detecting, not Thursday in New Hampshire. So, my thought today was I'm going metal detecting in a town forest. Love these places. They're generally large. They're open for, you know, public activities, recreation. But everywhere I went today and went to park, there were people. And the whole point for me is to get out where it's quiet and not bother anybody. Just do my thing. So I came around to an end where there's nothing obvious, except for the rock wall. And I guess I'm just going to go out there. First observations. Barbed wire. So what that implies is, yes, although colonial ground and wall. The barbed wire means that somebody was still using this land at some point past the 18, what, 70s? So that's it. I couldn't go to the first two places I wanted to go. So let's see what happens out here. Because you really never know. So, in a way, I guess it's kind of good. It's sending me into an area I've never been before. So, we want a metal detect. Hopefully we'll find a, an old home site, but if not, we are definitely covering new ground. And I have really no idea where I'm going. I parked, found a wall, headed north. And as usual, what it comes down to is finding and taking the path of least resistance. Because every living thing, animals, humans, whatever, everything takes the path of least resistance. So I'm just letting the land funnel me down and hopefully I'll find a path that other people took to get somewhere. It's just logical. Okay, so there's a wall going northbound. The one I crossed was west to east and I basically went diagonal hoping to cut off a corner and find a wall heading in the northward direction. So far, it's terrible out here. Not good on either side, but people built that wall for a reason. Wow. I'll tell you, I don't know where I'm going other than up and north. Look at the size of this wall out here. Yeah. Terrible both sides. Still, look at the work. Well, a few more hundred feet and I would say this is the top. So, it can only go down in all directions, but I've reached the apex of this piece of land wall is still carrying on out there so now it's it's down and with what I said in the beginning about 
taking the path of least resistance. I'm not doing that. I'm looking for it. But sometimes you gotta get past those barriers, those walls, you know, where you normally wouldn't go to go and go looking. It is definitely looking better on the other side. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I've broken off from that peak down. It's just a tree branch falling. I have wall and decent land. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start looking on all these little ridge lines which there's a few see if we can't find a footprint cellar hole or whatever if not we'll keep following this excellent well i just checked at two miles and a couple hundred feet i have landed somewhere and even better I'm at the corner. I'm at a back end of something. Glad I landed on the corner. It's better than landing in the middle of a wall and not knowing, you know, you'll figure it out, but. So, all right. Let's start looking. Huh. I didn't go that far. Is it a cellar? I don't know. I don't hear any iron just yet. No iron, but it's definitely squarish. So, and it's old. People were doing things here. Again, dug out. It doesn't look like exactly like a cellar, but when I look in the background there, that wall loops around. We are in a very small square, which is interesting enough. That's definitely a cart path. Wow. Nice wall. That right there is a sign of pride. We are definitely near or on an old home site. Now just to find out where they dropped the house. And of course, the up. Got to the end of that cart path. Wall terminates. So now we go up. Well, I've gone out, up, over, back down. And uh, that was just a backfield. I had to check. I'm swinging as I'm going. I suspect this is ammo, but I've been out here a long time. I want to dig something. Yep, big old shotgun shell. But that's all right because uh, with the process of elimination, with everything I've seen, it's gotta be like right over there. I mean, I've come in, gone up, down, all around, and we're definitely on a farm. Just need to find the cellar. All right. Well, I have successfully located the old home site. That is actually the ramp up to the barn. The barn is, was huge, and my first target is a big rolled up piece of lead. 
So we're on ground and let's uh, find something. Well, it's a while later. This place is Sheet Metal City, but I finally got something interesting. Some chain. The hook. It doesn't look watch quality, but then again, you never know. So, finding the site was the ultimate goal. We can find things cool, but I'm not sure about this one. It's, uh, it looks like it was occupied into the 1900s. So I'll give it a go for a bit. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. If not, whatever. Well, everybody, that's it. That was about four hours and it'll be just about five miles by the time I get back up over this thing. No, really didn't find anything today, but I was pushed into scouting an area I had never been to, so that was kind of cool. And that cellar hole was just a mess. You cannot compete with sheet metal. The only thing you can do is remove it all, but that takes a lot of time. So, still glad I came out, glad you joined me. And now we know what's out over here, and essentially that just is another piece of the bigger picture. And next time, I'll go beyond that. All right, I'll see you all very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday. Mm -hmm.